G'day everyone, my name is David Meyer and welcome back to First Time Reefer TV and today we've got a little video from Bill Morgan, uh, one of Australia's top reefers who recently dealt with uh, Acropora eating flatworm in his SPS tank, um, which is, you know, Acropora eating flatworms are any uh, SPS reefers or serious SPS reefers worst nightmare because it can turn your reef from something beautiful to something shocking overnight. They are a flatworm species that uh, purely just eat on the tissue of SPS coral and they lay eggs around the base there and they're very very difficult one to get rid of and two to keep control of because they lay eggs that are so small and scattered all around the base of the coral it's very very difficult especially in an SPS dominant display but Bill has come up with a way to be able to combat it in his own tank and he's uh, you know he's formulated this from I think a couple of other different uh, methods of getting this done uh, so he did share it on his Facebook page so I thought I asked him he had to get this into a video for us for me to share with you guys so if you guys are dealing with algae eating flatworm be sure to watch the rest of this video give Bill a thumbs up if you've got any questions leave a comment down below in the comment section and uh, enjoy the next few minutes <laughs> This is Bill Morgan. David asked me to make a video of my reef and how I treat for aquapora eating flatworms. So as you can see, this is a aqua one 400 liter. It is SPS dominant. There are monties, a couple of clams, and obviously lots of fish. So one of the challenges with keeping SPS is making sure that you can treat for pests. Pests can easily take down an SPS reef. They have limited um, predators and even the predators like six line wrasse, they can't get into all the spaces that flatworms can get to. So, how do, you, how do you deal with this? So obviously you can dip the corals. Now, in my case, you cannot take all the SPS out to dip them. It's just impossible because the SPS are literally packed on top of each other. They are glued to each other, they grow over each other. So you cannot treat outside the reef. You have to treat inside. But all the commercial available dips uh, specifically for outside or external reef treatment. After a lot of research, I found that there was a reefer in China who had actually treated his reef by adding potassium chloride to get to a concentration of about 1,500 ppm. Now, he knew, of course, that this was dangerous to fish. So what he did is he removed his fish, he removed his snails, he removed anything that he didn't want to die because potassium chloride at that concentration kills everything. What it doesn't kill are SPS and LPS. Even the clams were okay. So he added the two kilograms, in his case, directly to the tank. Now I couldn't do that because there's no way I can remove my fish. So what I did was remove the water instead. I took two grams of potassium chloride, added it to one liter of water, and put it in a spray bottle, and literally sprayed the corals. So I made sure that the light was low, I made sure that the temperature was fine because the corals were going to be exposed to air. I sprayed them. I made sure I didn't spray them very hard. I just sprayed them pretty much that it was a mist and the coral became soaked. So when the coral became soaked, obviously any flatworms, anything on the coral itself would uh, be killed. Now I started spraying on one end and then when the water ran out, I just kept going. So I waited a bit did a second batch, I did a third batch, and after the third batch, basically 30 minutes had gone. I left the corals for a little while, they became so, uh, like covered in, in slime. I started to refill the water, refilled it. After refilling it, obviously all the slime came up to the top and went down the weir. I then decided to use a bubble curtain. Now, bub bubble curtain is not new, it's been used by many reefers before. What it does is it causes the corals to slime up. When they slime up, any dead tissues, things that have died on the, on the actual surface of the coral, can easily be pulled off. So I did this for about 10 minutes or so, and then I stopped, and then I just used the turkey baster and actually just got rid of the little last bits of, um, of slime. So I treated one week, left the tank recover, treated for the second week, left the tank recover, 
and then I treated for the third week again. So after three weeks, um, I could not find any more flatworms. Now, to find a flatworm is, is not easy when there's only a few of them. But when there's a colony, you can see the coral actually starts to turn brown. And the color fades. You can see the bite marks. Um, usually tricolors in Dallas are affected the most. After extensive testing, I can't find any more flatworms. So I can say the tank is flatworm free. Of course, there are other things, like in this particular case, you can see this stag in the middle is affected with brown jelly. It's not common. It happens from time to time. I sort of have a treatment for it, but that's not for this video. So there you have it. Treating the tank for Acropora eating flatworms is very simple. It's easy to do. And because it's in tank treatment, you pretty much show that all the crevices, all the rock surfaces, you will get rid of the flatworms. Ask questions, uh, do a bit of research. Um, it's important that your concentration is not too concentrated and not too weak. Too concentrated and you can end up damaging the corals. Too weak and the flatworms will survive. No negative impact on the fish. You can see because the water was at the bottom, um, yeah, the fish didn't actually seem to mind, which was, which was really quite good. So thank you for watching the video. I hope this helps somebody who has a flatworm problem. So I hope you guys learned a couple of things on how to deal with Acropora eating flatworm. Obviously, I'm not dealing with that in my tank at the moment yet because I don't have an SPA. Oh, I have only, only a couple of SPS corals, but later down the track, I think this is going to be uh, hopefully something that I don't have to deal with, but it might be. Uh, but I hope that can help you guys deal with your problem. And if it does, please leave a comment down below, like this video, share it with all your friends, and be sure to subscribe because you don't want to miss what's coming up on this channel. Until next time, my friends, peace out.